Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your February 2023 Love and Relationships reading. Thank you for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Sagittarius, I'll be doing a dual reading today. One side will be you, the other side your person of interest. So let's compare notes. What's going on between the two of you here for the month of February 2023? Of course, it can be reversed, so either side can resonate as you. Uh, you'll know, of course, which one is you, which is the other person. Could be someone that's around you physically or energetically. Let's see here, Sag, I've been meditating on these cards. So let's get started with the reading. If at any time during the reading, Sagittarius, you're enjoying it, getting something out of it, then please do me a big favor and press that thumbs up button. It really does help out the channel here. If you would do that for me, uh, help me spread the word, get the word out, let people know that you're enjoying these readings. Uh, forward them to anyone that you think uh, it may resonate with. Okay, Sarge, let's uh, have a look at your person of interest. I've been meditating on these cards, so just a few shuffles here. And um, we'll get into the reading. So Sagittarius, your person of interest for February 23. What is going on here for Sagittarius, this person of interest? As I said, either side could resonate with you. So bear that in mind if cross-watching as well. Either side can resonate as the person that you're interested in. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, your person of interest. Let's get these cards down. I've got my 2023 year ahead forecast out. If you haven't checked those out yet and you're interested in your soul's journey for 2023, then feel free to drop in on those, check them out. The link is down below, uh, just underneath the extended readings link. So let's take a look here, guys. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards. Uh, let's use the cats for you. I want to get your energy. Please show me Sagittarius' energy spirit for February 2023 for my fire sign. Sagittarius for February, please. Spirit. Oh, indulgence. Well, why not, I say. <laughs> you deserve this, Sagittarius. Permission to pamper yourself. Mm, I love that. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's take a look at your person of interest. You know, that one jumped out of the, the dogs and it's, it's, it's from the energy oracle, so it shouldn't have even been there. It's a woman holding a coin. I can't help but think that this is you, Sagittarius, especially with this indulgence. Perhaps you've got a little bit of extra cash here, uh, something that, uh, that you can spend on yourself. All right, let's take a look. Sagittarius, your person of interest. What is their energy? Sagittarius is person of in interest in February. Okay, they're waiting for their steak, for their steak dinner any day now. Okay, what are they waiting for? <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this person waiting for? We'll get the connecting energy. Oh boy, are you ever a steak. You're a juicy steak. They're seeing you as someone who they, oh yeah. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of fiery energy around this person, guys. I feel that they're, uh, mm, yeah, they're waiting to, uh, <laughs> for some exciting times in the bedroom. Oh, hello. Sag, let's get the connecting energy. Sagittarius. Chemistry, mm -hmm. all right. You know, it seems like you're, um, this is someone you've recently started dating. I'm picking it up as a new person, mainly just because of the, the energy between the two of you is fresh, it's vibrant, it's new, and this person is still waiting to seal the deal, I think. For some of you that may not be the case, but I think for the majority of you it is, at least with this reading that I'm doing here today. Uh, so the two of you have been dating, they're spending some time together, maybe preparing some meals. I think that you enjoy each other's company. Uh, this person uh, likes you a lot, Sagittarius, they do. And um, they're willing to wait this out, wait for the perfect time uh, for the two of you to 
to be together like fully um oh, i'm getting sexual chemistry here guys oh sad um let me just take a drink on the strength of that oh i'm still recovering from that respiratory illness so i do apologize if i uh, occasionally have to uh, lubricate my throat so let's have a look here sagittarius the nine of pentacles in reverse mm. indulgence indeed sag be a little bit careful that you that you're not um, that you're not spending more than than you should on this indulgence Okay, yep, spirit says pamper yourself, but uh, do it with, <laughs> with a little bit of moderation. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Sag. We tend to go a little bit overboard, don't we? Um, yeah, we do, especially when it comes to, to travel and uh, doing things that really uh, feed us and nourish our soul. You know, the things that we do to indulge ourselves tend to be pretty healthy for for ourselves they're things that we need to do as as sagittarians so i get it i get it but spirit is saying well you know just calm it down a little bit here you don't want to to spend too much money on vacations or indulgences at the moment but that's not to say that you can't you can't just be a little bit practical about it okay uh sagittarius and the other thing that i'm getting here is that um at the moment you're being a little bit more social uh, when it comes to this indulgence so you may be being out and about meeting people um, maybe while you're traveling or just out and about let's see what this person's up to page of wands mm, yeah yeah this is a um, this is someone that's on your pathway here I get that this person is why do I get the um, why do I get the energy that this person wants to join you on your trips or on your on your journey? It feels a little bit like um, I'm getting like a mentor. You you could be this person's guide or this person's inspiration. You may open up new worlds to this person for them to explore, uh, to get out of a rut. This person may have been stuck for a while. Uh, you may be enlightening this person, showing them another way of being, another way of life. And it's, uh, it's stirring up this person's sense of excitement, passion, adventure. Okay, Sag. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm, all right. Okay. Well. <laughs> all right. You know. I'm not picking this up as you. I'm picking this up as someone that's around you. That is. A, is it a third party? Not really. I feel it's an ex. I don't think it's anyone that you're um, that you're with, but they're still in your energy. So they're showing up in your reading, and you're probably thinking, "Oh, Michelle, really? Is this person still showing up in my reading?" Yeah, they are. But to be honest with you, right now, I don't know why. We'll have to we'll have to continue with this reading and see why is this past person fronting up and kind of uh, jumping into your reading here when this situation is something entirely different we've got judgment over here okay this person has waited for some time to to be with you Sagittarius now you may or may not have been aware of this I get in the past this person may have um, rejected you ignored you maybe even ghosted you in the past I feel that they were dealing with something else. They had to come to some kind of major decision in their life. And I feel that this person has recently come to this decision. They're in the middle of making this decision. They seem to be ready and prepared 
to let go of what they need to let go of so that they can be on your path on on a line with your journey here Sagittarius but meanwhile you've got this other person this ex that seems to keep hanging around we've got the ten of pentacles in the future so yes there is stability you might have look we've gone from the nine up to the ten here right in the middle is the, the missing ingredient oh okay all right so what's missing here is the is the the your your other half the person that you that is your your stable companion on this journey of yours okay now is it this ex or is it this new person let's see the hierophant well it could be this new person because i feel like this is somebody over here who uh, they could be Taurus, uh, Sagittarius, but they don't have to be Taurus. I'm mainly saying that because of the, the Hierophant and all of these Pentacles cards that are, are over here, especially uh, that King. Uh, it can be male or female, by the way. This is not a gender-specific reading. But with the Hierophant over here, this person is uh, quite a traditional sort. Uh, this is somebody who believes in loyalty. Uh, this is somebody who is your, your meat and potatoes type of person. This is someone who's old school. Uh, they could be a little bit, um, well, I feel that they're around your age, Sagittarius. Maybe a tad older, but this person's still very vibrant, uh, still very youthful, uh, maybe youthful looking or just youthful in, their, um, in the way that they go about life. Now, how are you seeing this person? Of the hermit so uh, this person has been withdrawn from you I feel that this this person here they could be a Virgo as well I'm getting that strong earth energy yeah I feel that whatever's been going on with this person has been going on without your knowledge I feel that this person has taken some time to really think through their life. I feel that they're ready for the next stage in their life. They've come to a conclusion. I get that. They've come to a conclusion recently what they need to release so that they can move forward. How they are seeing you, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, they feel like they've, uh, this has been on hold. They do, they do feel like this is destined. They, they have a destined connection with you. They felt, they felt that. And they feel the connection with you even though you are apart. Yeah, this is a new person, guys, but it's, it's got a... Um, it's got like a... Uh, some kind of connection with the past. Now, it's not this same person over here that's an ex this is not an ex this is somebody who is around you energetically now you know i think you know them or you may know them you may know them from your youth it could have been somebody that you had a lot of chemistry with in the past but just didn't go anywhere there was blockages from this person blockages from from your side as well possibly this ex energy it's still blocked but I feel that this 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 energy of the wheel it's gonna start moving again once this person takes action and any day now they're going to take action and that wheel is going to start turning again and what is meant for you is is going to be aligned with you in the near future Sagittarius okay now what's hidden the king of swords in the reverse Got to be honest, Sag, not liking this, this king energy coming up in the reverse. I feel like you've got at least two people, possibly more for some of you, but at least two masculine type energies around you, Sag. Now, again, it doesn't, that's not gender specific. You could be a male here and have two very 
more uh, females that are more in their masculine energy, uh, meaning they're uh, very action oriented, uh, doing things uh, that are more for themselves. It, it really does feel like that. It feels like you've been surrounded, Sagittarius, by at least a couple of people who have been who have been dealing with their own stuff, and it's separate from you. I feel that you've been doing your own thing, uh, perhaps indulging in some in some things that that you have have haven't had time for in the past when you've been in relationships. So when you've been single here, you've been doing things for yourself, okay? All right, now this person over here, what's hidden is the emperor. Ooh. Yeah, I feel this is the person that we're talking about here. Taking action. Yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this is someone who is taking charge of their life, taking their life back. Taking their life back. Sagittarius, with this type of person, you have to let them take the lead is what I'm getting. All right. Now, for some of you Sagittarians, you may have been, you may have had some people in the recent past, it could be these two, King of Pentacles, King of Swords in reverse, that, that were, uh, I want to say, weaker energies. Although they're masculine, it, uh, it feels a little bit weaker than you, Sagittarius. You may have been looking for someone who was more, um, more in their leadership qualities, more in their take charge energy. Uh, not that you're looking for protection or someone to look after you or anything like that. I just feel that you you really enjoy someone who knows what they want, who they are, a go-getter, someone who you don't have to baby, who you don't have to handhold, who you don't have to look after. And I think that's what you've got here in, in this person over here, but you have to let them lead. So if you're used to leading others, I think you have to take a step back here and let this person lead, take charge. Okay, now the strength is the king. Look at all these kings showing up in the reverse. The king of cups in the reverse. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you've been dealing with at least one relationship, maybe a couple of relationships, where you've had people that were emotionally... Um, how do I put that? Uh, not, not immature, just closed off. I get people who are emotionally closed, uh, unavailable people, uh, people who were involved, still, still stuck on exes. Uh, people who were involved in marriages, people who were involved in other other relationships, people who were just didn't have anything to give emotionally, where their cup was run out. I get that you've had that in your life, and that's the reason why you've been single. It's because you've had people come into your life who were in this energy that couldn't give to you the love that you really deserved and that you were giving to them. I get one-sided connections. Now, the strength for this person over here is the fool, yeah. I feel this, this is somebody who's on your path. They're ready. They're ready to take action in their life. And they're, they're, they're having a new start. This is someone who's destined for you that has been dealing with stuff that they needed to deal with. But... They haven't forgotten about you, Sagittarius. This is someone who's on your path. For some of you, this is a brand new person. Uh, but the, for a lot of you, you know this person. There's a connection. Uh, maybe a missed connection in the past. Uh, it could be twin flame energy. Because I'm getting very strong... Very strong energy around this of this person 
meeting up with you again after a number of years that have gone by where each of you have had other relationships. Now the challenge for you Sagittarius is the Knight of Cups in reverse. There are people who come in with not good intentions, people who don't follow through, uh, people who again don't have that, uh, aren't in the, the love energy, they're just wanting sex, uh, people who you can't trust, unfaithful people, disloyal people, this person is not that energy. The challenge for them is the Empress. Look at that, Emperor, Empress. The challenge for this person is you. I feel that you have challenged this person in some manner, I get by inspiring them in some way, to go and get what they want, which I feel is you, Sagittarius, amongst other things in their life. A life with you. Uh, more than that, though, I feel that this person is is looking for uh, more, look, looking for their destiny, their destiny, uh, the path ahead here, uh, the next the next phase of their life that feels good. Uh, some of them may have had uh, families, children in the past where they've now grown, settled, and now are looking for to do things on their own. Uh, empty nesters, that, that type of energy. In your environment we've got the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel that for you Sagittarius you haven't had anything around you for a long time that has given you warmth. I get uh, some of you may have felt alone, um, ostracized, uh, some of you unfortunately I get that, uh, left out, especially when it comes to uh, couple things, you know, when people get together and they're couples, uh, the single person often feels alone, ostracized. Uh, it may be that that I'm picking up around you, Sag. This person, what's in their environment, we've got the Page of Swords. Uh, this person is watching you, uh, they're, they're taking careful notes, they're preparing. They're preparing to come in and speak to you, Sagittarius. I uh, get a message coming in. And your advice is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. You know, with this one, it's not about being perfect. I think you know that. I, th I think that you, you know that you're not perfect. You're not expecting anyone else to be perfect. Sagittarius... Don't worry about how you, you, I'm getting this message from Spirit. Uh, some of you may might be fearful of what this person will think of you, whether that's physically, uh, spiritually, whatever, emotionally. Spirit says, don't, don't worry about it. This person is meant for you. Okay, so you don't have to worry about what this person is going to, to think about you. I feel that they, they get a love they get a love every element of you, every part of you. And this person's advice is the King of Swords, yes, to make the decision, to make the judgment call. Uh, I feel that they're they're going to do that. Uh, they've been playing the long game, I get that. They've been waiting for the right time, waiting for the right moment. Uh, they seem to see you as their, their person. It's someone that's, that seems to be around you, either energetically or it could be someone that's around you physically as well, but I, I feel that you haven't had interaction with this person. But somehow they've been uh, watching you, not, not stalking or anything weird like that. It, it just feels like keeping a close eye on you. Uh, this person feels like you have... Well, I feel that this person feels that, that the two of you here uh, can have a life together. I mean, this person's looking for commitment. You are too, Sagittarius, although you've put it on the back burner because of all of these duds you've been dealing with uh, recently. 
So Sagittarius, we'll have to see where this goes in the extended. It's looking pretty good. We've got someone that's aligned with you on your path. Uh, I feel that you're going to like this person a lot. They're going to like you. I think that they already do. So don't, don't worry about uh, you know, be, needing to be perfect for this person. You don't have to be. You don't have to be perfect for this person. They're, they're, they're going to love you uh, regardless of what you might consider an eccentricity or some of you might feel uh, that you're uh, not your... Not your well, you're very unique, Sag. That's the thing. You're a unique person. This person's not going to see that as bad. All the things that you think other people might reject you for, this person's going to embrace, is what I'm getting from Spirit. So we'll see where this goes in the extended reading. I'll be pulling over the outcome card, going much further in detail. So I hope that you join me there. Uh, the link is down below in the description box. It'll be about a 30-minute reading. I'll be clarifying and going much further into depth. So if this is if this is your story, then feel free to join me there. The link is down below. Don't forget about my 2023 year ahead forecasts. Uh, those are out at the moment as well. Uh, the link for that is down below, just below the extended readings. Let's get a card from the Oracle of Visions before I go. Sag, message for Sagittarius. Yes, an intricate web. I get this as very Wheel of Fortune-like. Things are coming together. Things are coming together. Where you, where you felt the very uh, fragmented, scattered, things are coming together as they should. Be patient and things will work out. Uh, so try not to stress, try not to worry too much. Uh, things are going to be fine, Sag. I get that as a very strong message. And uh, let's get a couple of cards from the, uh, the Gypsy Oracle. I want to get one for you, Sag, first with this indulgence around you. Okay. This is this quarrel. I feel, okay. It's, it, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing two men. It could be these two here that are... That are um, it's an ex of yours and this new person coming in. So I feel like you've got you're gonna have a choice of two here. But to be honest with you, Sage, I think you know the one that you want. Uh, and this person over here, this one that's been patient. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting these two men again. This this is a card that says reconciliation, but I feel, strangely enough, I'm getting this as like um, saying, okay, well, the better man won, or the better woman won. Again, not gender specific. The better person won here. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's a clear winner here, guys. There's a clear winner. I think you know who it is. Sag, it's this person that's aligned with you. This other person, I feel, is is going to have to. Uh, well, they're not going to be happy, too happy about it. But the thing is, it uh, at the end of the day, it, it's. It, I think you have to go for the person here that's uh, that's aligned with you. This this other person doesn't seem to be aligned with you. I f they've had chances. My spirit guide is saying. Uh, they've left you out in the cold before. So for you, you're looking at someone who is looking to settle down, uh, who can commit, who can make a choice to be with one person. And that's what you're going to find in this new person here, Sag. So we'll talk about it more in the extended reading. I hope that you join me again. The link is down below. If you would prefer a personal reading, Sagittarius, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store. The link for that is down below in the description box, Gypsy Insights Tarot. Hope to see you there. Wishing you the best here, Sagittarius. Please take care and bye for now.